Hello, today we're going to be doing lesson 1.12, angles, triangles, and quadrilaterals. Your math message today is this. In class, you will be constructing a design or a geometric shape using four straws and four twist ties without bending the straws. So I want you to kind of do a rough sketch in your notes of what you would like to try to make when you come to class. Our vocabulary today, I would like for you to go ahead and write down the words that I'm going to give you, but for the definition or the description of the word, I want you to draw a picture because I think it'll be a lot easier for you to understand what that word means. So we're going to start with angle. And when we talk about an angle, usually it is formed with a line segment or a line, actually two of them coming together. And what is formed here would be the angle. Next, we're going to talk about the vertex. And the vertex is the point where those two line segments come together. So that is a vertex. We've got several words today, so I apologize. Now, we have different kinds of angles, and I'm going to try to pull all three of these up here. So we have a right or an acute angle, an obtuse angle, and we have a right angle. And all of these are determined by the angle's measurement. So an acute angle is going to be an angle that is smaller than 90 degrees. So this would be an acute angle. So less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is going to be larger than 90 degrees. So it could be 91 degrees or more. And then we have our good old right angle that all of you should be familiar with. That is the one that kind of forms an L. And usually you see this symbol. But it is actually equal to 90 degrees if you measured it. So those are the three types of angles. Now we're going to talk about some other random words that fit in this lesson. Um, like a right triangle. So when you think about a right triangle, if you know what a right angle is, then it would make sense that a right triangle would have a right angle in it. So basically, if I had two line segments that formed a right angle, and then my third side came together like that, this is my right angle, that would be a right triangle. We've got perpendicular. This happens when we have two lines or line segments that come together and they form a right angle. Now this is going to give me four right angles. Okay, All of those would be right angles and both of those lines would be perpendicular because they form a right angle. Polygon is going to be any shape that doesn't have a curved side, and it's closed. Okay. Trapezoid. Let's see if we can squeeze this one down here. A trapezoid has two parallel sides. That means those sides do not cross if they continued on. And then the other sides are not parallel. So this side at the top and this side at the bottom are parallel. If I extended that out that direction and this one out this direction, they would never cross. If this one extended this way and this one extended this way, they would never cross. So that is a trapezoid. And last but not least, we have our kite shape. 
And most of you hopefully are familiar with a kite, but it kind of looks like a diamond. Again, we have some sides that are parallel. This side is parallel to this, and this side is parallel to this. So that would be your kite shape. Okay, for our practice today, we're gonna to do some things that are similar to what you'll be doing in class. What I would like for you to do is watch me as I am giving you the directions and then I am following the directions. So let's say that you are asked to draw angle C, F, B. Okay, you might be given three points with those letters. And let's say that this is point F. Up here I have point C. And here I have point B. Okay, so if I had to draw that angle, I have to make sure that my vertex is the letter F because that's the letter that is in the middle. So, of course, I'm going to take my ruler, and I can't use a ruler here on my screen, but you will in class, and you will do a much better job than I'm doing. I will connect those points and draw arrows at the end for my rays. And as you can see, when I look at my angle, it is angle C, F, B. Could I call it anything else? Yes, it could also be angle B, F, C, okay? Now, what is the vertex of this particular angle? My vertex would be letter F or point F, okay? Now, another question with this angle is what type of angle is it? Is it acute, right, or obtuse. Well, I know that if I were to take a ruler and draw a straight line up this direction and this direction, I would have a right angle. That particular angle, angle CFB, looks smaller than a right angle, so it would be acute. Okay, so the practice section of your notes, you could just kind of draw this picture and write some of the things that I'm writing down. How do we know it is an acute angle? Well, because you could actually measure it with a protractor and it should measure less than 90 degrees. Or you could draw a picture like I did with a straight edge showing where that side would be if it were a 90 degree angle. So this is very similar to what you will be doing in class. They will be giving you some points. You'll have to make some angles. You'll have to figure out what kind of angle it is. You might be asked to draw a triangle as well. So you might have um, three points and connect it as a triangle. So if we connected those three points, and then we would just make a, a fourth or a third line there, sorry. And we would look at this triangle and ask ourselves, what kind of triangle is it? Is it a right triangle? If it were a right, tank, right triangle, I would have a straight up and down L shape on one side that would form a right angle. So no, this is not a right triangle. Now, if I labeled this triangle with some letters here and asked you some questions, I want you to think about whether the questions are true or not. Could I say that line segment AC is parallel to line segment AB? Just want you to think about that for a minute. So that would mean that those line segments would never cross if we made them go longer than they are currently. Also, I want you to think about, does this triangle have any perpendicular sides? 
So that would mean two sides that came together and formed a right angle. Hopefully you figured out that no, there are no perpendicular sides, and also line segment AC and line segment AB are not parallel because if I extended this side out, it would go that direction and this side would go this direction and they would cross, they would intersect. Now your ticket to group uh, today is going to be just a little bit different because I'm not going to have you actually work out a problem. You're going to look at the two pictures that I'm going to draw for number one and number two and you need to tell me which picture is a right angle. Are you ready? Here we go. So all you need to write down in your notes is a one or a two and make it a sentence. So like write down number one is a right angle or write down number two is a right angle. Simple enough? Good. I will see you in class next time. That's enough for now.